This is it, the final confrontation with Crimson in ROM Domain. Let's get it on. Alright, ROM, as in refer refers to as data, is an all data type class and looks can be deceiving. Alright, so we're moving on. This place is full of electrospores and rocks. Alright, we have two goals here. The first one is des destroy Crimson. The second one we're going to be recruiting a Metal Seedramon. As we're getting close to the end of this arc, which is the final, the final chapter in the Blood Knights. Once we beat Crimson, the Blood Knights will be no more. Another reason why I said that wanted a Metal Seedramon is because, going by memory, I'm recalling that I needed to get a Metal Seedramon for a trade. And I'm thinking it was Metal Garurumon. Some honorable mentions that I wanted to get while pretty much getting my team together. And it was pretty close too. There was a couple I wanted to get. But at the same time, due to just limitations and time, I was just stuck with just getting what I needed to get quickly instead of just messing around with uh, DP and DNA points. Probably could have got a Boltmon, or I probably could have got Machine Dramon. I definitely need another backup uh, virus type, so first chance I can get a Machine Dramon, I'm gonna get him. A few other honorable mentions I want to be able to place are Gigimon. He would have been an interesting vaccine type to have. Just for overall, his assist, the Hung on Death, has the chance of reviving a fallen Digimon. Kinda like Phoenix Mons, where I could have got Phoenix Mon too. The assist is, um, it's basically another revival.
ROM domain will eat up your missiles like it's a hot Sunday meal. This is going to hurt. I do feel bad Tinmon could not digivolve into anything. The only thing Tinmon had really to go for him was pretty much this parameter reset. Alright, we got another 10 floors to go through here. Yep. The sad part is Triceramon couldn't digivolve in anything and neither could Vermilionmon. Not, not up here. Get to go play some more tag with Triceramon here. This is going to be bad if it's not here. <laughs> Gut instinct, it was the top one. Well, we can avoid it. Well, most of it. There's no bug zaps for it. Was my hundred bitcoins? All right, moving on. I could be hearing that annoying chime for a while. Hmm. 
the moment of ooh, no more bit, no more ring swords. Oh, there's a dinosaur. This thing threw me through. Oh, but we're fine. Cause now that we got the digital transmitter, we could have a full set and be completely filled with memory bugs, and we'll still be all right. That will be helpful. Halfway there. There's the metal sea Germon. And I came prepared with toy planes. But unfortunately, I'm at a bad disadvantage. Stay on his nature specialty. Okay. I'm starting to think that was more of a handicap than anything else. Vaccine steel. All right, come and get it. <laughs> He's not going to stay on that specialty.
All right, it's the treasure floor. Ooh, what got broke? Oh, bug sweeper. Oh, this is also where you can find some DNA down chips and DNA up chips. This will be definitely useful in the future. And if you don't plan on using them, then you can get a good 5,000 out of selling it. Oh, would you look at that floor panel. No need for hurricanes. Max driver. the treasures here in this room just pick up this box and then flash bolt and move on yep, not even enough distance been able to shoot off a disc metal Cedramon. There has to be a floor with it, big enough floor connecting the two, and I can be able to spam off shots and... Oh no. This floor. Okay, it's the last one. Here... Now, believe it or not, I can't believe I went almost, pretty much almost the entire Digimon World 2 run without going into this floor. This is unbelievable. I had not once got this floor in this entire run. Yep, those max drivers, you keep them coming. See here, I need this one here. That's how you clear this floor. Alright, so now we're in the machine specialty. Sooner or later. And then there's the 
there's this floor here. Say hello to Boltmon. And there's this piece right here. Basically, the key thing is there's a massive treasure room there full of items. And you gotta go through this expensive amount of maze just to be able to get to it. Use a... Use a... Missile. And then you're there. Just check a couple of these and Hurricane Two Hurricanes But they'll always be pretty much one unguarded. This room is more EP expendable than anything else. And we can cut back by just cutting corners here. This is it. Just one long grinding floor. And Crimson will be on the other side. Let's do it. Yep, it's crimson. Yep. We must settle who is the stronger organism. Uh, okay, that's not him talking. Yep. <laughs> he has truly become a monster. Yep. Neo Crimson. He is the culmination of literally all three of the Chaos Generals and himself.
and this guy is tough. His HP literally will break through the HP barrier. And he has interrupts too. And that too. Fungus Cruncher. Here's the interrupt. The Giga Scissor Claw is actually... Hercules Caputerimon's attack, which has the chance of canceling out the, uh, the move. Yep, everybody's under Fungus Crunch, which means now this next bit is going to be bad if he doesn't use an Interrupt. Uh-oh. Either he's got Fungus Cruncher on the mind, or he's about ready to unleash his new attack. Yep. Blind attack. And attack the right person. Now we unleash our strongest moves on him. Yep. Just gotta keep going. And he'll keep on charging. No, believe it or not, I actually like that uh, combination model. But then again, it also reminds me of pretty much uh, Season 5 all over again with the uh, bio hybrids. If you haven't seen Season 5, then I'm not going to see any go any further. Those of you who have already seen Season 5, you get what I'm getting at. Alright, time to end this. Goodbye, Neo. With the holy flame. And it's over.
Yep, the temptation of power. He wanted to go back to the outside world. And from there, we never see or hear of Crimson ever again. And we are given two boxes as our reward, an HP driver, and an armor chip. And that's that. Crimson is defeated. The Blood Knights have been disbanded. And my controller just doesn't know when to cease to just function. Come on. gotta be kidding me, I just re-plugged it in and it's gone out. Alright. Hold on. Real quick. If my controller's starting to act flunky, then I don't want to take the risk. Time to report in. Yep, there's still many mysteries and why the revolt and the wild Digimon. Yep. Well, once we exit, then what you're saying is just go out and increase your uh, tamer rank, which means pretty much we're getting close to the point where we actually have to be r rank number nine in order to proceed. So then. Alright, basically now, we've reached the point where we have to be rank number 9. We gotta be the highest rank. Okay, I apologize for that. Uh, slight delay. The next part, we're going to be doing the rank 9 Coliseum matches, and it's going to be up against the strongest team, so I'm going to be having my strongest team go up against the strongest matches. So, see everybody in the Coliseum.